Good afternoon. I'm Cindy Pellegrini. And I'm Nick Russo, and this is Wolfpack News for Monday, November 18th, 2013. Attention all No Shave November participants. The deadline for the contest has been extended until December 2nd. Contest pictures will be taken on December 2nd during all lunches, so make sure you get your photo taken. Also, fan favorite voting will take place tomorrow through Friday. In order to vote, you must put money in the envelope with the contestant's name on it and turn it into the tables during lunch. The money will be donated to St. Jude's Research. The, win the winner of the fan favorite voting will win a gift card to Sports Clips. If you're looking for service hours, the Oswego Senior Center needs volunteers to help paint ceramic ornaments and help with their upcoming holiday bazaar. Boulder Hill Elementary School needs, to pick, needs help with market day pickup. Come to Student Services with more ideas. Students who want to be after school homework helpers for the Kids Connection program, please see Mr. Bryan and Student Services. Do you know someone who displays the six pillars of character? The program will be administered through the Character Counts Co Coalition and nomination forms will be available at the Oswego Village Hall, Police Department, Park Districts, and the Chambers of Commerce. They will also be available on the Character Counts Coalition website, which can be found on the school district's homepage. People nominated that display the certain traits like honesty, reliability, loyalty, and many others are up for awards. Winners of the awards will win a special Character Counts t-shirts with the colors that represents the six pillars. They will also receive a certificate that at the presented at the village board meeting. Now more than ever, the Oswego and Montgomery Police Departments feel that we need to identify and recognize individuals in our community who represent good character. By creating these prestigious awards, others in our communities will have the opportunity to celebrate our true heroes and the future leaders. The program will also enhance the relationship between the police departments and the citizens of the communities and foster positive interaction so that word can get out that character counts in everyone. Attention juniors, job shadowing applications are available in student services. Job shadowing offers a juniors a great opportunity to gain more information on the career of their choice by spending a day with someone in that career. Application deadline is Tuesday, November 26th. Please check your lockers, cars, bedrooms, and refrigerators for any books that belong to the school library. They have a pretty long list of overdue and missing items and an equally long list of students who want to read those items. Drop off the books in the LRC, no questions asked. And now it's time for entertainment. Here's Melissa. The World Language Night is tomorrow. The OEHS and OHS World Language Departments are working together to raise awareness about high school language classes and what each program has to offer. It is from 7 to 8.30 here in the World Language Wing. That's the latest in entertainment. Now back to the Anchor Desk. Lakewood Creek Elementary Holiday Shop is looking for volunteers with the holiday crafts, cakewalk, tattoo station, and help children wrap gifts. Go to Student Services for more information. Our Scholastic Bowl team started their conference schedule on a winning note last Thursday at OHS. The varsity team handily defeated both Oswego Central and Plainfield South before narrowly losing to Plainfield North. Varsity captain Sujay Saha led all conference competitors in scoring. The junior varsity team did one better by beating all three conference opponents. George Jalokovitz and Brian, Ryan Timms led the JV team with 60 points each. Cammie Heinzix sealed the final victory against Plainfield North late with a 30-point performance. And now it's time for sports. Here's Blaine. There will be a boys' tennis informational meeting after school at 2.30 in room G339. All boys that are interested in playing tennis in this spring should, should attend the meeting. Please see Coach Gangler in room G339 if you can't make it. All boys soccer players, if you haven't turned in your banquet money in response, please do so. See Coach Szymanski with questions. The banquet is November 24th at 5 p.m. There will be a boys volleyball meeting on Monday, November 18th at 2.45 in the Silver Gym prior to the Open Gym. Anyone interested in trying out for boys volleyball this spring are encouraged to attend. There will be a short information meeting for anyone interested in playing softball in the spring tomorrow at 7 a.m. in C117. If you cannot make it, please see Coach Nussel or Coach Green for information. Girls bowling starts today. All those interested need to complete their online registration through the athletic webpage and have a current physical. There's a shuttle bus available to take you to Parkside. It will meet at, route, at door 40, 41 around 2.45. You will need to get picked up after practice at Parkside. Practice runs until 5.15 p.m. That's the latest in sports. Now back to the Anchor Desk. And that's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Sydney Pellegrini. And I'm Nick Russo. Join us again here tomorrow on East TV Channel 16. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves.